How is steel made? How do we produce enough heat to melt it? In this module, we will try to answer these questions by looking at iron ore, blast and electric arc furnaces and steel making. We also reveal how many Eiffel Towers we could make in an hour from the world's steel production. Iron ore is common in the Earth's crust and contains iron chemically bonded to oxygen. It is mined in areas such as the Americas and Australia. The mining involves using explosives to break up rock. This is then crushed and the iron ore separated from non-metals. Iron ores from different locations are blended together. This is combined with coke and heated to make an iron-rich feedstock for the blast furnace called Sinter. Sinter is added to the blast furnace along with coke and lime and a continuous hot air blast is injected through nozzles called tuyeres in the base of the furnace. This air blast from which the process gets its name helps raise the temperature of the furnace to 2200 degrees Celsius or 4000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is high enough to cause the chemical reduction of the iron oxide from the sinter. Carbon added as coke and oxygen from the hot air blast into molten iron and carbon dioxide. The lime forms with the impurities to form a liquid called slag which floats on the iron. The liquid iron collects in the bottom of the blast furnace where it is drawn off and the slag is skimmed off and used in other industries like cement manufacture. Making iron in a blast furnace is a continuous process and they often run for many years at a time. The metallic iron produced in a blast furnace contains substantial amounts of impurities such as sulfur, phosphorus and silicon. These impurities make the iron virtually useless without further processing. Basic oxygen steel making is the main batch production process for refining iron from the blast furnace into steel and accounts for approximately 1,200 megatons per year. This is enough steel to make nearly 19 Eiffel Towers every hour. In the basic oxygen steel making process, 300 to 350 tons of iron can be converted into steel in approximately 30 minutes. First, scrap steel is put into the vessel, then the molten iron is added. A lance blows high-purity oxygen onto the iron at approximately twice the speed of sound. This causes the rapid oxidation of carbon, manganese and silicon in the charge. These reactions, which give off heat, help to melt the scrap and aid in the refining process. The impurities in the metal are removed by oxidation and interaction with the slag. The steel is then processed further in secondary steel making. Before we look at secondary steel making, another process for producing steel is the electric arc furnace. The electric arc furnace accounts for the majority of the remaining steel production and produces around 400 megatons per year worldwide. That's the equivalent of melting down one Titanic every hour. In comparison with basic oxygen steel making, the electric arc furnace has the advantage of being able to start with a solid charge, as it does not use iron from the blast furnace, but uses cold steel scrap, making it one of the world's largest recycling processes. The electric arc furnace makes a steel batch up to 150 tons in under one hour and the process permits extremely close control over temperature, composition and refining conditions for each heat, making it particularly useful for speciality steels like stainless steel. The furnace is filled with steel scrap. The furnace lid is swung into place and three graphite electrodes are lowered into the furnace. A powerful electric current is passed through the electrodes, creating an arc. The arc reaches temperatures of about 12,000 degrees Celsius or 21,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is twice the temperature of the surface of the sun and consequently, the heat generated melts the steel scrap. Once the first load of scrap is melted, a further one or two loads of scrap are added. Lime and floor spar, a type of flux, are added and oxygen is usually blown into the melt, causing impurities in the metal to combine and form a slag. 
The steel is monitored for composition and temperature and then the steel is drawn off into a ladle and sent for secondary steel making. After basic oxygen steel making or the electric arc furnace, secondary steel making is used to further refine the steel. In secondary steel making, fine additions of alloys are made to meet the customer specification. Temperature is controlled and gases such as oxygen are removed through the addition of aluminium and silicon. The process also reduces impurities such as sulphur and phosphorus through slags that will be built up in the ladle. This slag also retains heat in the ladle and isolates the molten metal from the air. Following steel making, casting is required to solidify the molten steel ready for shaping or forming into a suitable profile.